back to another video. We will be continuing our discussion about Interface Builder in our iOS series with Swift. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is actually create a user interface and go through the process. Um, you may not understand every single thing that I am doing, but the point of this video is to give an overview of how powerful Interface Builder really is and kind of a holistic real life example of the things you're going to be learning in this course. Um, the main thing that we're going to be doing that we haven't really covered thus far is adding constraints. So we've briefly brushed over what constraints are, but we're going to be creating a uh, user interface and running it in our device and taking a look at how it looks. So I've left off exactly um, where we started in our prior videos. We have this kind of obnoxious yellow screen here. So let's go uh, get started by deleting this white view inside by just tapping it, clicking it, and hitting backspace. What we're also going to do is go back to our view controller file and we're going to change this IB action and we're going to call it login button tapped. Let's change the print statement to try to log in. And let me actually preface a little bit, which I probably should have started off with. We're going to be creating a login screen here for the Facebook app. So it's not going to look exactly like it, but we're going to take our, we're going to take a, our own stab at it of what we think it should look like. So let's get rid of this yellow color as it's not very Facebooky, and let's go with white. So let's go with this white color here. Also, before this video, I've actually gone ahead in this assets file where we put images. I've added this logo here and brought in this uh, Facebook uh, logo image. And don't worry, we're definitely going to be covering how to add images. Super important and super cool. So what does a login screen need? A login screen needs two text fields to enter your email and password, a login button, um, maybe a forgot password button, and definitely our logo at the top so the user knows that this is really Facebook and not a Facebook knockoff. Cool. So how are we going to do that? So let's actually start an interface builder and add our logo at the top. Or we will build top down. So the logo, our two fields, and our two buttons to log in and forgot password. So we're going to come in here and search for image. Cool, we have image view, and it, you get a little blurb of what an image view is. We're going to add an image view, like so. And we're going to add constraints to it, and this is what I mentioned. Um, just follow along kind of for theory's sake, but we're going to basically say this will be... 10 from the top of our screen and this height and width on this will be a hundred and a hundred and in terms of the actual x position of our image view we are going to add a constraint and we're going to say it's horizontally in a container so it'll center it and we will add this constraint cool stuff so we have this container here and if we click it and if we recall from our earlier videos about Interface Builder, we have all the attributes here. So we have this thing called image, which is pretty nifty. So we're going to search for logo that we added. And before I hit enter, there you go. We got our logo. Cool. Looking nice. The next thing we're going to add is a field, right? So if we just, just search field, we'll find this text field here. It's a UI text field and a little blurb explaining what it is. So we're going to drag this in and we're going to copy and paste it right right there because we're going to need one for the username and one for the password. So let's click on that and over here we have a bunch of things we can set for this field. And for the sake of this video, let's just focus on one thing. We'll call it placeholder. That's the light text that shows before someone starts typing. So let's say enter email here. Enter. Let's add some constraints to this guy. So we're going to say this will be 10 from the top, whatever element is above it, which is our logo, 20 from the left, 20 from the right, and that's going to be 52 high, like so. And this other field, let's add a placeholder to it. Let's say enter password. And let's also add constraints to this. And we're going to, again, say 10 from the thing above it, which is the email field in this case, 
20, 20 from the left and the right. And we're going to give it the same height. And we're going to hit enter to apply those constraints. Cool, looking good. We basically have Facebook up and running at this point, um, at least the login screen. <laughs> so we're going to add a button now, two buttons actually. So we're going to add this right here. And let's copy and paste it to make our life easy. And let's select this first one. And let's go over here and take a look at what things we have here to work with in the attributes. And we have this title here. So let's make this say login. And let's select this other button here. And let's again go here and make this one say forgot password with a question mark. And before we finish up, let's go and apply some constraints down here. So again, 10 from the top. 10, 10, and let's just put something random in here, like so. And let's do the same thing for this one, but this one we're going to do a little differently. We're going to say 20 from the bottom, 30, 30, like so. And you see this one jumped down here. Cool, so that's our user interface. So how do we actually fire off like a function when this button gets hit? So once the user has entered stuff into here, we want to actually go and try to log them in, right? So if you recall from our last video, we're going to actually go to our view controller and create an IB action, which we already have. We just renamed it actually. And we have a print in here. And we're going to connect this action to that button's click event. So let's right click this the view controller, which owns our actions and outlets. And let's drag this to our button. And we're going to select touch up inside. And that's our user interface. So a little bit of a challenge question. How do you think we would get the actual text that the person entered outside of these two fields? If you answered make an outlet for both of them and you can reference their properties from the outlet, you are correct. So let's just go through making those two outlets so you can see in practice how it works. So again, we have this IB outlet for my view from our prior video. Let's call it email field. It's going to be a UI text field. Now let's copy and paste this and call this one password field. And we can head back to our storyboard, right click the view controller that owns these particular outlets. And you can see them right here. Let's connect the email one to the top field and the password one to the bottom one. Now, if you haven't guessed so far, everything that is a user interface, something visual that the user can see like a button or an image or a field, the class that this stuff actually comes from, where Apple has actually written it, is UI Kit, so User Interface Kit. And this is imported by default for you in some files, and you might need to add it if you start adding your own files. And the actual elements are also prefixed by UI, as you can see here. So let's actually go ahead and, enough of me talking, let's run what we've made. And we see we have an issue here because we actually got rid of this my view and we can't assign its color because it doesn't exist anymore. Let's get rid of that and hit run one more time. And we should see our user interface. Awesome. Look at that. So we have our Facebook logo up here. We have our field. So if you tap in a field and the keyboard, uh, that connects is your computer's keyboard, but you don't see the actual iPhone keyboard here, you can head to hardware, keyboard, and toggle software keyboard. And that'll make this guy pop up. So we can type in our email and our password. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna hit this and it prints out what we have in our action. Now in a real app, of course, here it'll actually check if we've entered something and try to log in and either log us in or come back saying, hey, your login is incorrect. Something in addition that we should notice here, which is uh, important, is 
A password field usually shows you like little stars or dots instead of what you've actually typed. So we can actually set this attribute in Interface Builder or through code. So everything that's an attribute off of a UI element, either you can set it in Interface Builder, and if it doesn't exist in Interface Builder, as there are certainly more attributes and customizations you can do than what's offered there, you can most definitely do them through code. And we can end the video here and we're going to continue with Interface Builder for a couple more videos and then move along in our entire course. If you found uh, this video helpful, do leave a like, uh, subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video.